Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back. Yes, guy Manuel Gijon. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the Linux file system. This video is very important for anyone who wants to understand Linux. Why? Because the Linux file system is the whole of Linux. It means you cannot do anything in Linux without using the Linux file system. And if you can understand what the Linux file system is and how to navigate the Linux file system, I will say you're 80% done with Linux and the remaining 20% is just for you to master the Linux commands and understand how to use it to navigate the Linux file system. Okay, so what is the Linux file system? A Linux file system is a method of organizing and storing files on a Linux operating system. The two things that I want you to remember from this definition is that the Linux file system organizes and store files on the Linux operating system. So it's a method of organizing and storing files on the Linux you know, operating system. It says it uses a hierarchical structure with all the files and directories branching out from a single root directory. This is another thing that's very, very important. Allowing users to access data in a structured manner. Remember, the Linux file system is simply a way that the Linux operating system organizes and stores files on the Linux operating system, right? And it says here that it uses a hierarchical structure uh, whereby all the files and directories branch out from a single directory known as the root directory. Now, another thing you have to know is that there are different types of uh, Linux file systems uh, in the market, but the most commonly used type, type of Linux file system is one called the EXT4. And EXT4 stands for the Fort Extended File System. So it stands for the Fort, the Fort Extended File System. So that's what EXT stands for and this is the most commonly used file system in the market and basically this is an iteration of the extended file system family and this specific file system is way better than the previous file systems that were in the market like the ext2 and the ext3 the ext4 file system offers better performance reliability and scalability so as a result of this is one of the most used file systems systems in the market. So a file system, let me repeat this once again, is simply a method used by the Linux operating system to organize and store files on the Linux operating system. And all the, the directories and the files that are stored on the Linux operating system, right, branch out from a single directory known as the root directory. So as you can see, this is a diagram of the Linux file system, right? And as you can see up here, the first this directory in the Linux file system is this directory here called root. And I said root is represented by a slash sign, which is this, you know, slash sign uh, right here. And on that root, you would find different directory. You will find the slash bin directory, the slash etc directory, the slash sbin directory, the slash usr directory, the slash var directory. And you also have some commonly used directories like their form list mount opera and root now you will notice that there are two types of you know root directory there is this root directory right here and there is this root other root directory you know right here i will explain the difference between the two so this is how you know the linux file system looks like it means that if i go on my linux server i'm going to see a file system that looks exactly like this so right here i'm on my terminal i'm sure by now you know exactly what a terminal is and what it does it does please go watch my previous video and so right here on my terminal if I want to go to my file system I'll have to do a CD don't worry about what CD is but CD stands for change directory I'll explain it I'll make a separate video explaining the commands that you would need to navigate the Linux file system so I have to do a CD slash why because remember that the file system is a slash right so I have to do CD slash I'll hit enter then now if I do an LX don't worry about what LX is you see it's going to show me some files right here and if you you know if you look carefully you're going to see that these files right here like the bin the etc the ops the sbin you know the the dev the home the mount you know the root prod ops all of this the even the var all of these uh directories that you see right here are the same as these directories that you see right here so this is just an indication to let you know that right now i'm inside of my linux file system 
system. And when I defined the Linux file system, I said that the Linux file system was a method used by the Linux operating system to organize and store files on the Linux operating system. As you can see, everything is organized. You have directory called bin, you have a directory called etc, you have a directory called media, root, you know, home. As you can see, every single thing right here is organized, meaning that it's easy to access this data and use this data to do, you know, specific things. Now, don't worry, you know, we're going to talk about what each of these directory does. Like, for example, what is the use of the bin directory? What is the use of the etc directory? What is the use of the home directory? What's the use of the root directory? And why is it that there are two roots, right? What's the difference between the two roots? What's the difference between the root that's just a slash and the actual root that's like this? So what's the difference, you know, between the two? So as you can see, this is, you know, the file system right here. Now let's kind of, you know, understand two important things when it comes to the file system, hierarchical structure, right? The first thing I want you to know is that the Linux file system is organized as a single tree hierarchy with the root directory at the top, right? So if we go back to our diagram right here, you're going to see that the root directory is at the top, right? And that's kind of what this explanation is saying right here. It's simply saying that the Linux file system is organized as a tree in which, you know, the root directory is at the top. Everything starts from the root directory and branches out. So if we go back to our diagram, you're going to see that everything here starts from, you know, from root, then it branches out to different directories. For example, it branches out to the slash bin and inside of slash bin, you now have different files. All of these are files and we're going to go inside of the slash bin and we're going to explore all of these files. Okay, so I keep talking of directories and files. So what is a directory in Linux and what is a file? Directories are like folders that contain files and other directories. So basically a directory is simply a folder. So what you call on Windows and Mac that folders on Linux, they're called directory. For example, right here on my desktop, I have a, a folder. In Linux, it's known as directories. So whenever I use the word directory, simply know that I'm referring to a folder. Now, a file in Linux can be a regular file or it can be a special type of file, like for example, device files, or it can be a symbolic link. Don't worry, we're going to talk about that as well. Now, when we're navigating the Linux file system, there are some specific directories that, you know, we're going to, to navigate. As you know, we cannot navigate the entire Linux file system because there are a lot of directories right here and you will not use all of these directories when you're working on projects, right? There are directories that you will never touch, but it's good to know exactly what they do, but you will never touch them. You will never change something there. So I picked a couple of, you know, directories that we're going to navigate when we are exploring the Linux file system. And the first one is definitely the slash uh, directory, which is actually the root directory of the file system. And we're also going to look at this directory right here called the slash home directory. Basically, this is the user home directory. Then we're going to look at the directory called etc. This directory contains all the configuration of our Linux operating system. So we we'll go in there, we'll see different configurations that are in there. So we're going to look at two directories. We're going to look at a directory known as the slash bin. And we're also going to look at another directory known as the S bin, right? These two directories are extremely important. Why? Because they contain binary executables of all users and administrators, right? Without these two directories, I cannot run a command on the Linux operating system. So these directories are are the directories that manage commands on the Linux operating system and we're going to go in there and we're going to see the different files that are inside of this directory and the use of those files. Then we have the slash var directory. For example, this contain variable files such as the log files and, you know, databases. So for example, if something happens to your server and you want to troubleshoot and fix it, you have to go inside of this directory. Then you look for the logs to have a better understanding of what happened so you can fix it. Then 
we're also going to look at you know another directory known as the temp directory basically it's a directory used to store temporal files so if you have a file that's temporal you don't want to keep it for long you can put it in this directory then we're going to look at you know the slash dev directory and basically this is the device files you know like for example hardware keyboard monitor anything that's externally connected to your linux server or your linux operating system is managed in this in the slash dev directory then we're going to look at the proc and the sys directory and there's another directory that we're going to look at which i didn't put here is the you know the slash boot directory if you go to our linux file system right here we're going to see that there's a directory known as the boot directory so we're also going to talk about this directory to have a better understanding of what this directory does so guys these are the directory we're going to look at we're going to look at the bin we're going to look at etc we're going to look at the s bin then we're going to look at the home directory and we're going to look at the prog the temp the usr we're going to look at root right then we're going to look at boot and we're going to look at the dev you know direct so guys that is what the linux file system is the linux file system is simply a way or a method used by linux to organize and store files on the linux operating system and the linux file system starts with the root directory and any other thing comes under that root directory so if you delete the root directory you have technically deleted your entire linux file system and the most used linux file system is the ext4 which stands for the fourth extended file system and is the most used file system why because it is stable it performs better and it is scalable as well right and it's way better than the previous file system that is the ext2 and the ext3 so guys that is what the linux file system is in our next video we are going to look at the commands that are necessary to navigate the linux file system see you in my next video bye